everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I'm Nicole. If you could please subscribe to my channel, turn your notification bell on, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a positive comment. I do appreciate it. Um, as many of you know, I did a ColourPop haul a while back, and I just uploaded a video a few days ago, and this particular haul was the Nightmare Before Christmas collection. And I did get the entire collection, so I will be testing out most of these products, but I will also be doing swatches. Now, the only thing that I won't be using today is the little gemstones. I'm going to probably keep these, probably keep these as a um, collector as of right now. Same thing for the sponge, but I will go ahead and get started with swatches. And the first thing I want to swatch is the liners for you. Um, I won't be using these in the eye look, but I did want to go ahead and swatch them. That way you could see how they look and how they perform. These are both um, liquid liners. And the first one is called Pumpkin King. And as you can hear, it has something in it to help mix it up. And this one is just a white. And that is what it looks like. A really nice bright white. That would be really nice to use for looks. And then the next one is the Sally Liner, which is called Scream Queen. And it is just a black. And that is what it looks like as well. Here are the swatches. I think that these will perform really nicely. They're drying down pretty great too. I really do like how they look. Now then, again, here is the actual cartons. Super cute. Now then... I'm going to go ahead and put a swatch of these on the side of my hand to see how well they completely dry down and see if they budge after they dry down. I just put it right here to make room on my hand for other swatches. Now the next thing I will swatch is the Master of Fright Glitterly Obsessed Glitter Gel. Super cute packaging as well um let me know if you have picked up any of these items or if you are watching this to see if you want to pick up any of the items and let me know um after this video if there are particular items that you are going to pick up after watching this video but here is what it looks like it's just a really cute potted glitter gel and Here's what it looks like on the finger, and here it is, swatched, super pretty, feels nice, not too gritty like some of the glitter gels I have used. I know I will be getting a lot of use out of this one for sure. Again, here is the super cute packaging. Now then, the next thing I will be testing is the Much Shadow Trio, and this is a trio of terror. Now, a lot of the stuff I'm just swatching it will not be used in today's look, but I did want to give you, like I said, an idea of what the items look like, as you can see. The first one I'm going to swatch is Lock. This is super, super cute. I really do love how they package everything. Here is what it actually looks like. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. And it feels nice. Here is what it looks like on my finger. And I'll go ahead and do it right by this. Oh, that's beautiful. Look how pretty that is. I cannot get over how beautiful that is. I am really excited about this one. Now, the next one I will do a swatch for is Barrel. 
super cute. And here is what that one looks like. I'll swatch it next to that one. Really, really pretty. I just can't get over how beautiful these are. I'm really excited to be trying more stuff from ColourPop as well because I don't have a lot of their products. So being able to expand what I have from them is amazing because it is an affordable brand that you can collect um, a lot of products from because it's not going to really break the bank um, unlike other brands could. But here is the next one right here. And this is Shock. And I'll go ahead and swatch this one. This one's the one I'm probably the most excited about because it's pink. And I'm going to go ahead and do it right here. Those are really, really pretty. And they go really well with the glitter gel. I'm going to see how they do once they dry down as well. And go ahead and clean up. Um, I really do think that ColourPop did a great job with this collection. I just really do love everything about it from the packaging to the beautiful shades that they have put together for this particular collection. This would be really cute to display on my vanity, of course. Super duper cute. And of course this as well. They feel like they are drying down really nicely. I'll go ahead and give it a little bit longer though. And while I do that, we will go ahead and do the lipsticks. Um, I will go ahead and start with the lightest shade first, which is the Oogie Boogie shade. This is also a cute little ornament, um, if you didn't know already. Now, I'm sure a lot of people may have seen all the swatches for these, but I did want to do this for the ones who requested for me to do the swatches and requested for me to test out the actual product. But here is the beautiful lipstick. Now, I don't swatch mine with a tube sticking way up in the air because I don't want it to break. I get nervous about that. But here is the... Boogie Boogie shade. That is a really nice brown. It's a real nice nude brown that will go with a lot of looks and it feels really creamy. Um, the next one I will do is the Sally lipstick. Now this one is a really beautiful bright shade. Um, I always say don't be afraid of color because you'll never no until you try it and you'd be surprised at how much you like it now you may not like it at first but i would always i always say to play around with it so that way you can get a feel of it and then um you may end up loving it and again this one is sally just a beautiful pink and that is what it looks like it's just gorgeous This is beautiful. It goes really good with that um, shadow as well. The pink down here. That's really cute. And then the last one we were going to do is Jack. And of course Zero is with him. I really think these are adorable. I really do like these lipsticks. I may end up having to get backups in these because I can't believe how beautiful they are. Now here is what that component looks like. And this one is a beautiful, beautiful red. And I just love how all the lipsticks have the um, detailing with the skulls and the snowflakes. So we will go ahead and test that one right here. And that is what the three lipstick shades look like. 
the Glitterly Obsessed Glitter Gel, and the Jelly Mutt Shadows. So I will go ahead and see how this liner is holding up. And it's doing pretty good. It's not budging. And it did not have like a spider effect, spider web effect on my hand. So that is nice. Okay, so here are these. And they dry down really well as well. Um, let's see about the gel. It might move around a little since it has the chunks of glitter in it. So that one I would be careful with. I'm going to go ahead and take the liner off and these shadows. And I'm really having to work to get these off. So these are long lasting, which is really nice as well. Now this may be a longer video today since it is going to be a detailed um, swatch and eye tutorial. So hopefully you do not mind. And let's see how these lipsticks did. Okay, the lipsticks do transfer a little, which is not a big deal to me. Now then we have the palette, of course, super cute as well. This is what it looks like. And I will be doing swatches of all of these as well. Normally I don't do swatches um, just because um, I don't want to damage some of the shadows, but I am trying to do that more this year. I'm changing up a lot of the things that I'm doing as far as content on my channel and how I do things. Some of it will be the same, like I will show you a haul video and then do a new video creating a look and doing swatches. I also have upcoming giveaways and that type of thing coming, so stay tuned for all that. But this does have a mirror and it can fold back, which is nice. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these. There is zero meant to be dear friend in my bones, pumpkin patch, Christmas town, frog's breath, Dr. Frankenstein. Finkelstein, What's This, Sandy Claus, Everybody Scream, and Halloween Town. So I think what I'm going to do with the way that these are laid out is I'm going to swatch these down instead of across. So the first ones I will swatch is Zero, Pumpkin Patch, and What's This. And here is what they look like on the finger. And this one you may or may not be able to see. It is a really nice shimmer shade that you can use for a all over highlight. Same for this one. It blends in really well. And then here is the orange. Super pretty. And again, that is zero pumpkin patch. And what's this? Now I do want to mention that this is done on unprimed skin. Um, I don't believe in doing that to enhance the colors. I like to give you an idea of what the actual shadows look like without anything because some people do not use eye primers or concealer to put on eyeshadow. So the next one is meant to be Christmas Town and Sandy Claus. And again, I am going down instead of across. Here is what they look like. I think that is going to be my favorite row. So here is meant to be the nice little transition shade then we have christmas town which is absolutely beautiful as well and then the last one right here is absolutely beautiful as well and that one is sandy claws overall i'm liking the colors so far um, I'm not the best at swatches because I don't do them very often, but I really do think that these colors are beautiful. Um, the next one is Dear Friend, Frog's Breath, and Everybody Scream, this row. 
right here. I do love the detailing of these. They're really beautiful. Here they are on my finger. And then here they are swatched. Hopefully you were able to see these really well with the way my lighting is. The top two probably blend in with my skin tone a little, but here they are so far. And then the very last row is in my Bones, Dr. Finkelstein, and Halloween Town. And here is what they look like on my finger. And here is what they look like swatched. Just really nice shades. So here are all the colors swatched on my arm. I really do love these. And again, we have zero, which is a top shade. Pumpkin patch. What's this? Meant to be. Christmas town. Sandy Claus. Dear friend. Frog's breath. And everybody scream. And then finally, in my bones, Dr. Finkelstein and Halloween Town. And like I said, I do these down instead of across just because of how the actual layout is of the palette. I think the way that they did this is very user friendly. So that way you won't be intimidated by trying to create a look. You could just go down if you wanted to or go around certain paths to make an eye look, which is really nice. Okay, now we'll get started with the eye look, and then I will do the rest of my face off camera to try to save on time of this video. But I'm using my The Beauty Crop Stuck On You Potted Eye Primer. This is what it looks like. I really do love this eye primer. Um, I use it pretty much every eye look because I really do like it. But I also don't have a lot of eye primers. That's something that I'm wanting to venture out on and try more of. Because you can never go wrong with having a couple of good types of eyeliner, um, eye primers. Because some eye primers may not work with the formula of an eyeshadow. So you can always try to figure out which ones work best for the combination. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my Farrah brush. Just a brush I got from Ipsy that I really like. And we're going to get into this palette. Now I'm going to go into Sandy Claws right here and start with that and see how it does. Um, of course, um, if you've been around a while, you probably figured I would start off trying out the pinks in this palette to see how they perform on the eyes using a brush. So far, I'm really impressed with this. This is a really nice color. I say if you're scared of color, just dip in lightly and build it up. There's nothing wrong with having to build up an eyeshadow. Um, honestly, I don't mind eyeshadow either way, but I will say if you have a shadow that may not be that pigmented and you can build it up, that's probably the best kind of eyeshadow to work with first. If you're not very experienced with makeup or you're just in a hurry, just because it's easier to build up eyeshadow than it is to tone it down. That's just me. Now, there is that. I really do love that color. Now I'm going to take another clean brush. This is an SL Miss Glam brush. And I'm going to dip into Everybody Scream, which is this beautiful shade right here. And I'm just going to pack that 
into the corner of my eye just to add a little more something to the eye look. I think these colors play really well together. And now that I'm going to take a smaller detailing brush and drag some of that color into my crease. It's just something I like to do. And I'm just going to take a little bit more pink. I always like to do this after I build up my look and just brighten it up just a hair and there is that now then i'm going to take a flat elf no i'll use my wet and wild flat elf, wet and wild brush and i'm gonna dip into christmas town which is that beautiful pink shade and see how it performs with a brush this shade right here see how it performs with a brush and then i may end up having to go in with my finger it just depends Okay, so that's what it looks like with a brush um let's see how it does with just the finger that is so so pretty i really do like that now then I'm going to go off camera and do my other eye and my face and I'll be back to give you my final thoughts on this collection. Okay, I'm back with a full face of makeup. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do my brow bone uh, under my lash line and my corner inner corner of my eye. So I figured for my brow bone I will do zero just to show y'all how pretty that is. It's beautiful. You could use this as a highlighter if you wanted to. I just can't get over how beautiful that is. It's blinding. I love how ColourPop is great quality and affordable. They have a lot of fun themes. Yes, they do have a ton of themes that come out, but it makes it nice for those who like to collect certain items and colors and that type of thing because as you all know I collect things for my family members um, I have a lot of stuff in my collection for my kids and my husband so that's why I think it's pretty cool now the next shade I'm going to dip into is Dr. Finkelstein which is this beautiful shade here and I'm going to take that under my lower lash line just to add an extra flare to the look and that is really cute and of course this one is a shimmer so you may have to pack it on before you blend it out. And then for my inner corner, let me clean my brush really quick. For my inner corner, I think I'm gonna do this pumpkin patch color right here, just to see how beautiful that is. I bet that will go really great with what's this. And Again, just beautiful. And there is that. I'm going to do my lower lash line with my mascara and I'll be back. Now then, I'm just going to finish this look up with the closest lipstick that you could probably use with this. I mean, if you want it, if you don't mind 
a bold lip with a bold eye, I say go for it because I always say do what you feel is best. But I'm going to go ahead and use the Oogie Boogie, which is the nude brown shade for this look just to complete it and see what it feels like on my lips. It's really creamy and it feels great on the lips. Now I would have to say I am totally in love with this collection. I love this palette. It performs beautifully. I highly recommend everything in this collection. That's just me based off of how everything feels and how it swatches. I'm blown away by how the um, Jelly Much Shadows, the coloring is just gorgeous and I bet they would have looked really good with this eye look but I just wanted to do something simple and quick for you to see how beautiful these shades were um again let me know if you picked anything up or if you're going to pick anything up and tell me um what your favorite thing is from this collection I want to say thank you all so much for watching if you are new I'm Nicole if you could please subscribe to my channel turn your notification bell on give this video a thumbs up and leave a positive comment I do appreciate it Always remember to have love in your heart, put a smile on somebody's face, and do something kind for somebody because you never know how much it may mean to them. As always, I love you all so very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.